Oh man. Oh, dip. Ricky Powell here in the offices of Lior Cohen. I think it's called 300 Entertainment or 300 Ent, one of those. I am privileged to be here today, June 1st, I think, 2015. Here we are in this collection of colorful characters that I've assembled for my old buddy, Lior Cohen, who I've known about 30 years. I like this one, Amit, because uh, who, who uh, founded uh, Atlantic Records. I know Lior like idolized him. This is him in a stairway, 1988. I snuck into a party at the Plaza Hotel with my paper magazine, Press Pass. I ducked into a stairway to smoke a bowl, of course. And in the stairway was Amit Erdogan puffing a cigarette. And I was like, what? He looked up at me, I was like, you mind if I join you for a puff? He was like, sure. So I spent like five minutes with him in the stairways, puffing away. The camera, my little camera, the tool, my instrument, had turned me, changed me from Joe Schmuck to the Rickster, downtown photographer, overnight. Early spring, they're on their way to their famous show, and uh, I was uh, hanging out on Mercer Street, across from Shafrazi, with another dynamic duo, Zephyr and Revolt. I said, "Want if I get a flick of Rooney? And uh, they stopped. Basquiat said to Warhol, he's cool. So they paused for me and uh, just took a shot. There was no like violins or big, you know, euphoric music. I just, you know, thanks. Thank you. I got a call about a month ago out of nowhere. And that's how Lior does. It was Lior. He's like, Ricky? I'm like, oh, Dip, who's this? It's Lior. I'm like, oh, hey, what's up, Doogie? Doogie Hauser. So he goes, I want your pictures all up in my office and my house. I was like, what? So put my pants on, got out the house, and came up here. And, uh, you know, pick some shit, what I thought would be, look good, complimentary for his office. And he wanted a hundred. And I was like, wow. So, this is a gift. This is what freelancing is one of the gold nuggets. And if you're a freelance artist of any type and you get a phone call like that, like, I want your shit, it's like, wow. I try to live right, man, I, in as far as being proper with people. I'm about that. It feels good, it resonates, it makes other people feel good, and I think that's how I want to exist in, you know, in life while I'm here. Okay, everybody get up, get loose. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. 